Yo, what is good, YouTube? Mad Dubs here, back with another video, guys. And we have some breaking news out of Vegas. The Raiders have signed uh, former Seahawks tight end Jacob Hollister. The club announced today. But before we get into this video, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's see if we can get this video up to 30 likes. But we will be posting a bunch of breaking news highlights, breaking news analysis videos, as well as live streaming NFL games and NBA games all year long. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, and join the family if you haven't already. But without any further ado, let's get right into this video now. Um, as we all know, or we may not know, um, the Raiders have announced that Darren Waller and wide receiver Hunter Renfro are going to the IR at least for four weeks, which means they have a couple of open roster spots here, and they're going to use one of them on former Vikings um, tight end, practice squad tight end, Jacob Hollister, and that's how they got him today. He was on the Vikings practice squad. He's going to be uh, signed over here to the Raiders. And Hollister, he's a 6'4", 245-pound uh, tight end. He joins you know, the Raiders after stops with Jacksonville, Seattle, New England, um, and now the Vikings, you just on their practice squad. He's appeared in about 57 games with 12 starts under his belt um, over his five years total. He has about 83 catches, 707 yards, and 7 touchdowns throughout his career thus far. He's shown flashes of being a pretty solid tight end here and there, but he hasn't shown the consi consistency. But I think the change of scenery and the, the impact he can make here with Vegas, especially them losing, um, you know, Darren Waller, he hasn't been healthy all year long, and they're going to have this open raw spot for at least four weeks. So I think he can come in here and be a good backup tight end behind Foster Monroe. I think he can... Um, you know, maybe make a little bit of a name for himself over the next couple of weeks. We'll see if he can do so. Last season, Hollister played in seven games, two starts for the Jacksonville Jaguars, recorded nine receptions, 55 yards. He set a career high in 2019 with 41 catches, 349 yards, and three touchdowns. So I think that was back with Seattle, which you're seeing most of these highlights in his career are coming from Seattle. He had a he had a good year there. Like I said, 50, uh, 41 catches, 349, and three touchdowns. Not bad. Um, I'm interested to see how he's going to come in and be um, you know, utilize into this offense, but and he, he did spend time with Josh McDaniels as well, so we got to keep that in mind. He did have some time with Josh McDaniels a while back when he was, uh, I think he got drafted to New England, but without, um, with that being said, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about the signing for the Raiders. Obviously, it sucks that Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro are going to go out, but you're going to need some guys to step up. DJ Turner, Keelan Cole, and now Jacob Pollster, Foster Monroe. Let me know in the comments, guys, who you think is going to really step up here for the Raiders. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Join the family. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I will be back very, very soon. Like I said, I'm going to be streaming games as well, so if you guys want to come through, um, hang out and chat. You guys are more than welcome to do so as well. But until next time, guys, peace.